Sing it with me. I wanna rock with the dudes. The fear is no excuse. So baby, tell me what you say. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I can't do it. Ho, ho, ho. Anyway, ho, 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 you hoes. Oh, you're doing this. Oh, hell, the mother trucking queen of garnage. The baddest bitch that you have ever seen. Before you get ran over, she's about to strike just like a king cobra. Listen up, don't say I didn't warn ya. Come on, come on, sing it with me. I wanna rock with the dudes, the fear is no excuse. So baby, tell me what you say. Hi everybody, welcome to 5 Minute Mondays, Haven the Way and Trash Talk podcast here on YouTube. And um, uh, heard all the way around the world. And I want to thank you personally for tuning in, subscribing, checking us out, leaving comments. It doesn't go unnoticed, and we appreciate you very, very much. Um, so welcome to the end of 2023 and our last recording of 2023. And it's kind of personal for me uh, because at the end of the year, it is there's a lot of meaning to well not just to me but to a lot of people people find this a a way of um setting new year's resolutions um cleansing detoxing and all of those wonderful things and that's exactly what i do and i think it's very important to do i am Definitely going to share a few things with you about that uh, going into the new year and uh, letting you know how important these things are, especially over the last couple years, um, what these last couple years have done to people mentally, physically, and I would say economically, um, what it's done to the family system, the friend system, and definitely the business. Uh, so many different approaches on it. And it is the person that I feel um, that can take charge, regroup, and um, just re-energize your whole surroundings and your environment um, to go into a whole new year. And I have uh, myself been very blessed and very lucky to surround myself. Um, and I am just filled with gratitude to have people around me to give me the opportunity to be successful. Because it takes a team, not just me, to make anything wonderful. Like this great graphic, it all has to do with my producer. And my great website, it has to do with my webmaster, my social media, it has to do with my social media team and people, um, not to mention, most importantly, my husband for trying to understand all of this, even through all the years we've been married, you know, still trying to figure out what a gimmick is. Kind of funny, but he does now. But anyway, um, I call him a gimmick at times, but I get a questionable look. Just, hey, babe, the gimmick. <laughs> okay. TMI. So, um, and that also goes along with uh, my mods, the mad mod, making a lot happen over there. They've been with me for three years. Three years, the same mods. That says a lot about um, business, um, trust, um, generosity, um, giving back. And um, making sure that everybody is happy in what they're doing. Um, I have a great group there. Also, I would have to say my lawyers, my promoters, um, and especially the talent I deal with. Um, you know, I work with all the time that I leave the home. If it's in wrestling or 
uh, monster trucks or my other <laughs> Uh, future sites that I've been planning and working on that haven't mentioned. And so all of that together, just thank you for giving me the platform and the opportunity to be with you and work alongside you because I've learned a lot. I know I'm not um, easy to work with at times, meaning um, I'm da, 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 now, 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 now. And, um, but I just feel that success um, isn't based on just being complacent. You have to be hungry and 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 be willing to give give a lot and get nothing back. And sometimes building those friendships and those business relationships are just that. It's on a barter system sometimes. And but at the end you do not forget about those people because when you become successful, you also remember, it's an old term, you go back in your own Rolodex and you remember the people that helped, you know, grow your <laughs> whole entity and you bring them along when there's opportunities um, or you reward them in ways that you know best. Um, so there's that. That's what I'm very, I mean, so much gratitude, so much gratefulness for everything and people. And that's what brings me to the end of the new year. Um, also, what's very important to me that I do once a year, and that's called detoxing, not just mental, but digital. Digital detoxing, to me, it just brings so much clarity um, for a reboot um, with projects that um, if you're a multitasker like I am, and it's not good to have so much going on. Because you need to focus on that one project and finish a project, go on to another project. But if you're a human being, you usually have five irons in the fire and um, everyone's going to try to stop that video right there and read what was on my hand. Good luck, because I can't even read what I just wrote. But anyway, <laughs> there's something on there to remind me. Okay, so what's really important to me is the digital detox. Now, once a year, I do this. It could be a week. It could be a month. It could be two months. It just depends on how much I've had going on, how many irons I've had in the fire, which, you know, we're all human. We have a lot of them. And what we need to reprogram or not program. And um, I like to itemize things of most importance, uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And then by the end of the year, some of those things that were super important get moved down to here and the less goes up to there. So and that's what that is. It's just it's it's just regrouping, recharging and digital detoxing. So that being said, I am definitely um, on my way to an amazing place that when I was uh, racing monster trucks, um, I put myself through school again, because, again, me wondering, like, what the hell are you going to do? This ain't going to last forever, just like I was thinking for wrestling. Um, so I always love fitness and I love working out eating. So I said, you know what, I'm going to put myself through school and become a, <laughs> a yogi. And so I did and I became a yoga instructor. So that's been part of my, you know, everyday routine. And so at the end of this year, I am going on a yoga retreat with uh, some friends and definitely to meet some new friends and also to um, just release and detox and it's in Tulum, Mexico, one of the most beautiful places um, ever. And I am so looking forward to it. So last time I went on a yoga, uh, a yoga retreat, it was about 10 weeks. <laughs> this one is not 10 weeks. So, um, um, but it is going to be for a little bit of time. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I can't wait to tell you all the stories and the pictures and videos and whatnot. Who knows? I might surprise you. But um, but it is about cleansing and letting go. So what I want to um, uh, let you know is that um, during the month of January, um, my awesome techie producer is going to put together some amazing, fun, quirky recap um, shorts for the month of January. Um, so we won't be doing any, um, you know, 
tapings like this regularly, but we definitely will have something for you. And I think you'll find it very, very interesting. With this whole um, wonderful shorts in January um, that um, my producer, Marsh, Marshy Marsh and the Marsh Bunch is put together, Mr. Techie. Um, I am really, really excited and anxious to see them. So um, just letting you know that um, it, it is a digital detox as well as mental and health. And it's all good people. This There's nothing going on, nothing happening. And I know people, you know, nowadays you just need to make that clear. It's just something I do once a year. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and I love going to new places and detoxing and, you know, just all of that. And plus it's all like, oh my God, vegan. And we're talking about Oh, salt baths and Aravita. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. We're talking about fire walking, of course, yoga. Um, it's just, I'm really, really, I'll probably come back with blisters on my feet. I've never fire walked. I don't know about you, but I'll say either that's bullshit or, Hey, I did it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, so I like going into 2024 being optimistic. Um, with just hear me out this is what i'm saying is i always like going into anything i do or any project and go there with a huge open mind being optimistic even if you fail a couple times because to me that's just a blueprint it's not a destination failure is not a destination it's only a blueprint and i feel that um, with old plans that I had, they're going to be rejuvenated. There's some exciting things, absolutely, um, that I've been working on um, that, you know, are finally coming to fruition. But I don't like talking about them. But you're just going to have to wait and see once they're, you know, spoke about or now there. Um, and also old skills, re-educated. So, um, yeah, that one really, really excited me. Um, so I cannot wait to put my foot forward, um, for that one and, uh, mental health and health always in check. So, and without all of that, you just got to make sure that your, um, that your, your, your personal life is good. And that you are singularly good because we can give to others, we can do for others, and that's what we that's what we do because we feel good. But you cannot do any of that unless you are one hundred percent in check. You know, you may have a bad day, you may not be there t totally percentage, but you know overall that you're in check. And that's what this is once a year, especially what has gone on. I think it's highly, highly just i think i highly enforce it for people to do just to do that in check digital detox health mental detox everything detox and just find out where you're at and um come back swinging and i i, I just i truly truly believe that you're gonna love that new you you know in every man there's some femininity which us women find very attractive if if a man knows his femininity at least five ten percent it's sexy af definitely because they're in tune with themselves and especially with women too if women have some type of masculinity at least ten percent of themselves and they feel that independence men love that that a woman can take charge and 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 take care of a situation if if the man wasn't around and vice versa in any, 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 any sex at all. So I am so excited to wish you all a very, very, very happy new year, a safe new year, and learn to love, learn to love yourself, learn to love what you're doing, don't expect, and just just vibe vibe on that higher just send that higher vibe because that will come back to you in twofold 
It will. I promise. You can feel it. You can feel stuff turning. And it's such a great feeling when you give that vibe out. Um, with that being said, I, I just want to send this awesome vibe over to Marshy Marsh and the March Bunch if he wants to come in. Hey, if he can. I think he's blacking himself out. I don't know. Maybe his computer's working or not. But I want to tell you, Marsh, that working with you has been... Um, I've learned a lot. And I know that... Um, <laughs> that my readiness and wanting things can be, uh, you know, not appealing at times. And I want to thank you for all of your time. And I know you got one eyebrow up, like questioning what the fuck or where I'm going with all this. <laughs> but I just want to thank you for everything. It's so much appreciated. I do. And you've got some great colors on. They're pink and black. And that that color there. Mm -hmm. I'm only saying I want you all to remember that pink and black because it really has to relate to something I said earlier. <laughs> so just, you'll see, you'll find out in the months to come. Um, so yeah, Marsh, thank you. Thank you for everything. And I know you're going to do some really cool techie shorts, whatever, however you do those. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be fun for, I think, me to go back and re-listen to some of the interviews. I think it'll be fun to remind other people to incredible guests you've had on this past year like mm. it's been really cool and and i've been a lot of names that i don't want to say get forgotten but they don't get talked about enough you know mm -hmm. uh, yeah and i'd like to have some more you know some more of those guests in the near future too um you know we always hear of you know the basic I'm, we, I'm not saying th these women are basic but i'm saying we always hear of the ones that are in you know, on TV or in the light. And that is the Moolahs, the May Youngs, the, you know, once in a while, Wendy Richters, Sherry Martells, myself, Trish, Lita, and then the most common ones, right? But yeah. we never talk about the ones that are in between that made a lot of crap happen. So mm -hmm. I, that's, I love under, I mean, not that they were underdogs. They just, they didn't get that spotlight. So well, yeah, it'd be great. I mean, I'd argue that any woman coming up through wrestling during that era at all were all underdogs. Like, the system was <laughs> exactly. not set up for you, you know? No, I, I got to say, I even was an underdog, but I got, I I pushed through the concrete wall, so whatever. Yeah, uh, and thank you for letting me be a part of a lot of these conversations, mm. being able to meet people I would have never been able to meet otherwise. Or Oh, you marked out a few, so yeah, maybe you can show some of those highlights. Whoa, yeah. it's so good. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. kidding yeah we'll have some great guests and um with your fancy awesome work and who knows what you got i don't know if we're gonna change anything about i don't know we haven't discussed it but i don't know maybe there's a new new backing or something i don't know yeah i don't know there's a lot of options a lot of opportunities so you know mm -hmm. we'll figure out how it comes through uh in the new year i'm excited about your detox i think that that's always good I think everyone who does that comes back just in a much better mind space. You know what I mean? Like social media and the digital stuff can Ooh. just be overwhelming. And, and it's hard to know how much it's kind of beating you down until you step away. You know, I feel like the Grinch. Hate, 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 <laughs> hate, 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 hate. Yeah. It's all about hate, hate, hate. Well, that's about what it feels like out there. But either you can let it, you know, rule your world or, you know, let it control what you're doing which a lot of people get sucked in i i don't it doesn't bother me i don't give a shit i don't even play into that but i think that even people that feel like they're in control still need that detox yeah. because it makes you stronger coming back and maybe can help other people yeah i think it gives you a better scope of of the important things you know what i mean the mm. and the, the important uses of social media right like when you step away from it you come back wanting to connect again with people you hadn't connected with but you also remember that like there was a whole world around outside of that that you go oh a lot of this doesn't matter the only thing it does mm -hmm. matter is those connections right so mm -hmm. a lot of the a lot of the stuff can just fall to the wayside at that point i know i get you know even even myself you know like in the past and years and years trying to develop my character and then growing into the social media sector that it just it was very like, you're like, why does this, why, why is this person getting a trend and how do I get yeah. that? And always trying to stay on top and be relevant. Sometimes it's, it's just as important not to always yeah. be that. It's nice to be in the back 
you know, and coming back refreshed. So just take that. It's like, you know, it's just like taking a vitamin, you know, sometimes yeah. you just need to be pure and clean and take your vitamins. So with that being said, I I am very excited for the 2024. I haven't shared anything with you yet, Mark, uh, Marcus, Marsh, Mar Marsh. Even my husband's like, which one is it? Is it Marsh? Is it Marcus? Is it Moodle? Doodle? And I'm like, no, there's a lot of M's. Medusa, Marcus, Marsh. I can't even get them straight. But I haven't even shared some of the idea, um, some of the things and ideas that come to fruition with you or Marcus or anybody yet. Um, I just want to make sure they're concrete and they're ready to go. So then yeah. that way it'll be exciting. Yeah. You'll yeah, probably I shit yourself when you hear one of them. So because <laughs> I nearly did. My husband did. That's for sure. I think he <laughs> slammed the door and said, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> I yeah. definitely look forward to shitting myself. Well, no. <laughs> your what your you your wife to be, she can look forward to that later in life to be cleaning your shit. Mm, it's down the mm. road for sure. Yeah, literally. <laughs> As you scoot yeah. your ass across. Okay, yeah. on that end, happy new year. Uh, many blessings. Wishing you all the best from myself and Marsh and Paving the Way podcast. We love you. Thank you. Call me Queen of Carnage. I will beat your ass. This is my time. Bust in door. Mm. Mm, I love that. It was perfect. Yeah, just you scooting across your ass, wiping the shit. Okay. On that note, Happy New Year. Yeah. Lovely. Can you not hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. I don't know what's going on. With, I mean, whatever. We it must be really it. cold. <laughs> I'm actually burning up, but well, with just, that sweater on, I mean, yeah. god damn. I'm gonna go ahead and end the recording for you. Hey, Call me you Queen of Carnage. 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 I will beat your ass. This is my time. Busting doors, breaking glass ceilings, and I like to play. They used to call me a lunder blade, but not anymore. I am Medusa, and always will be Medusa. And that's what I think of the Women's Championship belt.